So when I started touring, it was like only the crazy places because that's all that was open, like Corpus Christi, Texas, you know, and Port Charlotte, Florida, you know, and Nashville, Tennessee, right? Yeah, and Naples, Florida, and Greensboro, North Carolina, and Tampa, Florida, you know, and Orlando, Florida, and Jacksonville, Florida, and Miami, you get the fucking point, right? You get the point? It was almost completely in Florida. I just spent months in Florida, and it was, I got to learn more about Florida than I had ever hoped. Mm, I wished and wished, and finally, poor Charlotte, Florida, they won't even let you in unless you say something racist, that's true. And it doesn't have to be negative, you know? I said, I think Asians can be high strung, but it works in their favor. They're like, come on in, that's fine. Be honest with yourself and others. Tampa, Florida, you guys been to Tampa? Have you? Whew. Tampa's pretty ghetto, but they lean into it. They like it. Like in Nashville, do you guys have that, uh, that car that has three wheels and it's open air and it blasts music and it's got the neon lights? What's that called? Slingshot. If Tampa, Florida was a car, it would be a slingshot. <laughs> and they love that. I told them that. And some guy in the back of the room was like, they're expensive. It's like, I guess they are, Tampa. I guess they are. In Orlando, they live amongst the alligators. You'll be driving in Orlando, there's just an alligator on the median. No big, do you see that video of that guy that was trying to get the baby alligator into the recycling bin? And he got him in and then he closed it and he wheeled him down the hill into the swamp next to his house. It's like what, like the alligator is like, huh, gotta go back up this hill. If I'm going to eat that dog, I got to go up this hill. <laughs> so Zara's doing a show, and I said, what you guys should do is you have all these guns, you should kill the alligators. Because you guys remember when that toddler was uh, eaten by the alligator in front of his parents? Do you remember that? It was in Disney World, and the alligator was hiding in the swamp, and the toddler got close enough, and the alligator grabbed it and killed it in front of its parents. And I got to tell you, I, between alligators and toddlers, I prefer toddlers. That's always been my policy. I like toddlers more than alligators. So that's why I said you should kill the alligators. Then the toddlers would be safe. And the whole audience was like, boo, uh-uh, no. And I looked at one of the, the women in the audience. She was going like this. And I go, why don't you want to kill the alligators? And she said, because I'm a Gators fan. And I was like, if you kill all the alligators, it's not going to change the name of the team. They didn't do it at the Redskins, you know. It's fine. Oh, is that too late or is that too early? Is that too early to be too late? Is that too soon to be too late? And I said, you guys aren't scared of the alligators? And everybody in the ah, ah, boo, no. And I was like, then you're afraid of the wrong things. They're scared of Mexican immigrants in Florida. Did you know that? I don't know a lot about Mexican immigrants, but I do know that they don't hide in the swamp <laughs> until your toddler comes close enough. And then grab an eel, little toddler cone queso, little toddlerito, little toddlerita. Toddlerita, that's a little female toddler with a salt rim around her head. Toddlerita. And then I asked Orlando, I said, do you guys feel like Disney is kind of taken over the, uh, the cultural identity of your city, of Orlando. And uh, there was a table, and they go, boo, Disney, boo! And I said, yeah, okay, so you agree with me. What do you guys do? And they're like, we work at Universal Studios! <laughs> and then another table was like, boo, Universal Studios, boo! And I was like, you're right. Both of those things are such a big deal in Orlando. I said, where do you guys work? And they're like, we work at Disney. <laughs> and I was like, that's going to be the weirdest gang fight <laughs> in the parking lot. Just Universal Studios guys like, <laughs> the Disney guys pull knives like, come on, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm going to cut you. Oh, boy. <laughs> I said, what do you guys do at Disney? 
They're like, we sell timeshares. And everyone in the audience all at once goes, fuck you! <laughs> you guys are great, man. You're happy. Are you guys happy? You seem as a group. You guys like living here? Yes? Yeah. I can tell that you're happy. I can tell because uh, when you guys laugh, it doesn't stop right away. At the end, it kind of trickles off, you know? Because you're not done. You got so many giggles. You're like, ha, ha, ha. See, you're doing it right now, do you say? I love that. Not everybody is like that. In Toledo, Ohio, they laugh and then they stop every single time, I swear. They go, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah, that's good. Ha. It was the strangest thing. But then at the end of the weekend, I figured it out. What happens is they laugh and experience this momentary joy and happiness. And then all at once together, they remember, oh my God, I live in Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> They're like, ah, I bought property, you know? <laughs> Toledo has a city motto. Do you guys have a city motto, a slogan? Really cool. See, you don't need one. You're Nashville, you're cool. But the less cool cities, they have to have some sort of slogan or motto. So Toledo's is, Toledo, you'll do better here. <laughs> Let's think about that for a second, okay? New York's city motto is the exact opposite of Toledo. New York is like, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And Toledo is like, if you can't make it anywhere, you'll do better here. So, obviously I love laughter. I think it's so fun. I like when people laugh really hard and then at the end... They'll sigh really heavily. Ha, 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 yeah. <sighs> Isn't that fun? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's fun. It is. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I mean, we're getting along better and better throughout the show, you know? <laughs> Don't you feel like we're better friends now than the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I do also. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue? I like purple. Those are similar colors, right? I know. It's, it's awesome, right? It is awesome. What's your favorite animal? A dog. You like a dog. Mm. Do you like cats? No. You don't like cats? No. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. We're still friends. We remain friends. Um, I like when people... <laughs> I like when people laugh really hard, and then at the end, they repeat the word or the concept that made them laugh in the first place. Like, they'll be like, <laughs> ha, 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 go pockets. Isn't that fun? Because that's not for anybody else, you know? That's just like, uh, it's just for you, you know? Just trying to squeeze a couple more giggles out of it, you know? Like, I, I liked it when he said it. I'm going to give it a go. I guess another one would have been, uh, they repeat the word of the concept that makes them laugh. They go, <laughs> it was an interaction. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Jonah. Jonah? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Trevor, uh, Joan and I wanted to tell you something. Fuck you! <laughs> great. Mm. Interesting, Trevor. Looks like me and my best friend feel the same way about you. Hey, Trevor, what's your favorite animal? Wolf. A wolf? What do you think about that, Jonah? Okay. All right, listen, listen. Jonah, you're a better man than me. 
My favorite thing right now is, uh, well, does anybody snort when they laugh? Anybody? Yes, you do? Do you? Do, uh, do people make fun of you? They don't make fun of you. Well, sometimes it depends on who it is. But he doesn't make fun of you? Good. When somebody makes fun of the way you laugh, you know what they're basically saying? Hey, you know that sound that you make when you're happy and joyful? And the tragedy that permeates our everyday life is momentarily abated for an ephemeral escapism? Yeah, you sound stupid. You should feel insecure when you're happy. Well, people shouldn't make fun of you because snorting when you laugh, that's a very ambitious type of laughter. The rest of you idiots are wasting valuable laugh time by inhaling like regular people. You all go, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. That's all time you could be laughing, not my little snort baby right here, uh uh. When she laughs, she gets the air as quickly as possible so as to maximize the laughter. <laughs> she leaves here 37% happier than the rest of you, that's true. Well, Jonah, this has been a strange show and it's coming to a close. What did you, uh, Jonah, I need this to be just about you and me real quick. So what did you think of the show? I thought it was totally awesome. Yeah? Did you have a favorite part or anything? My favorite part was when she said, she said, go back to the airport, airport oh, and, yeah. and you, and you said she was a blonde hair bitch. <laughs> Joan, it's not often I say this, but I thought you were the best part of the show. Right? The show. Fun night, right? I gotta tell you, I do shows all the time, constantly, almost always, and I love it. I love shows, but like, this is my favorite thing in the world. If no one else was here and the show was just the two of us this entire time and we needed her for you to have your favorite part. <laughs> Even if Trevor was here. I, lo I love this show. Joan, I love this show because of you. So this is really fun, right? Okay. In fact, in fact, in fact, hey! Hey, I don't fuck around, all right? Blue? Blue. There you go. That's for you, buddy. That's a blue mask. That's cool. You were in the um, um, Deadpool movies, and I thought you were awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you. You know what? Jonah, um, I want to tell you something. So this is a special. So it's, uh, it's going to come together and be a full hour-long special. And you're going to be in the special. So I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Jonah. Jonah. Jonah, I want to tell you that you were in the pandemic special. And I thought you were fucking awesome. So.